Hello guys, welcome to another review. This time I am reviewing King Lear, which was at the Rose Theatre Kingston about two weeks ago. I think I'm a bit late on this one. One of the main reasons I wanted to see this production was because I studied it in school and at uni, so I knew it really, really well. I went uh, with my friend to go and see it. We sat on uh, cushions in the pit. Our view was good because there was, I think there was one person in front of me, but because of the angle, you could still see everything and it was fine. We found a nice little spot just sort of at the front, but not too, too at the front, just in case there are any blood splashes or whatnot, you know, Shakespearean tragedy. Anyway, let's get on to the analytical part, the categories. So, first of all, the actors. Amazing. I mean, very classical, very traditional. The speech was excellent. There were only a few times when I noticed that I couldn't quite understand what they were trying to get at. I mean, I feel with Shakespeare, well, with everything, you have to believe your lines so much that everyone else believes them. And I felt that a lot of the characters were very true to the roles they were trying to play. Some were not what I was expecting, but pulled it off anyway. And some lines I felt were dropped a little bit, were slightly cut off when there was a, you know, maybe not the lines that had the most meaning to, but still that you need to understand everything that's going on with Shakespeare. Otherwise you will get lost, <laughs> very lost. The visual presentation. Okay, so this one, Stumped me a little bit. This is the only one in the review that I gave a low mark only because The only thing that was on the stage was not used curtain rail with a red Curtain sort of wrapped around one corner. There weren't even two curtains only one gave no meaning to anything I would have understood if they used it at some point or They made reference to it, but actually unless I missed something there was nothing connecting that. If you have something on stage, it's there for a reason. Because they use it to lean on, fine. They used it to, like, there was one part where Mad Tom was using it. He was kind of hugging it. So, in that sense, the actual object provided something to a character, but actually, the fact it was a curtain rail provided nothing. I spoke briefly about the actors before, but I'd like to actually speak about their roles and their characters, their presentation of them, and I feel like a lot of them were spot on. Age-wise, perfect. Like I said before, some were not what I was expecting, but actually <laughs> made me laugh, made me sympathise with them, made me hate them. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what they wanted anyway. I think that they were cast very well. I believe that they researched their characters well because a lot of them had their own little traits that I liked that were quirky, that were individual and brought something new to the character. My favourite character was Oswald. It was so amusing. I found myself wanting him to come back onto the stage just because he made me smile in this whole serious atmosphere where it's pretty heavy he would come on and he'd do something that would just just make me smile and I needed that that was a little bit of comic relief and it was it was needed the narrative if anyone doesn't know what King Lear is about it's basically just a massive a massive deception about love and about gaining power and what it does to you when you have got it and in all honesty just a lot of betrayal. Cordelia is the only nice person. There's a massive fight at the end and as you can imagine in a tragedy a lot of people die. Yes it's sad, y yes it's very amusing, yes it's difficult to follow but once you get there it is good. Shakespeare had this amazing intellect about human nature. The only thing that I was a bit disappointed about was at the end when all the tragedies seemed to happen there was no, <laughs> there was no blood, there was no brutality to it. I felt like it was a little bit of a soft ending. It's supposed to be this massive thing, it's this massive climax, and yet actually someone's died off stage and, you know, someone's quite delicately fallen to the floor. 
Nevertheless, it was an excellent production. It was good. I probably wouldn't see it again. Thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you'll go and read my review, which is on Tumblr. I will post a link in the description of this one as well. Please let me know. I would love some recommendations, love some feedback. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Bye.